All right, and welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about section 2.3, which is all about proving theorems, and we're going to be introduced to two new theorems. By the end of this video, we should be able to use the midpoint theorem and use the angle bisector theorem. So please have out your guide and notes. Let's begin. So if M is the midpoint of segment AB, you may conclude that the length of AM is equal to the length of MB by the definition of a midpoint. If you are also told that the length of AB is equal to six, you may realize that, well, the length of AM is equal to length of MB, which is half of six, so it's three. And this idea is generalized in what we call the midpoint theorem. So the midpoint theorem is, if M is the midpoint of segment AB, then the length of AM is equal to half the length of AB, and the length of MB is equal to half the length of AB. So we're really just saying, hey, we know that M is the midpoint of this, this segment, let's call it AB. Well, if M is the midpoint, then we could talk about now the lengths of those two sections, or two segments, I should say, that are broken up with this midpoint. And this is when we start to get into the measures and the lengths of our segments involving a midpoint. So in the, in the example provided for you, it is given that R is the midpoint of segment SQ. We want to name the definition, postulate, or the theorem that justifies each statement about the given diagram. So we are given that we want to talk about segment SR is congruent to segment RQ. Length of segment SR is equal to half the length of segment SQ. The length of SR plus the length of RQ is equal to the length of SQ. And segment PR bisects segment SQ. So for A, segment SR is congruent to segment RQ. That is going to be all about the definition of a midpoint because we're given that R is the midpoint. For the length of SR is equal to half the length of SQ, well, we know that R is a midpoint, which means that we're gonna be using the midpoint theorem because we're talking about the actual length. Now we have length of SR plus the length of RQ is equal to the length of SQ. That's gonna be our segment addition postulate. We have the length of two smaller segments adding up to the large segment that those two segments create. And now we have segment PR bisects segment SQ, and that's gonna be the definition of a segment bisector. Awesome, with this in mind, please work on problems. If I can pop it up, boop, boop. Why is it not working? Click, 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 click. Aha, there it is. Please work on problems one through four on the guide and notes, and please resume when you are ready to move forward, and thank you for your patience as I was struggling there. All right, so now we have, if ray BX bisects angle ABC, you may conclude that the measure of angle ABX is equal to the measure of angle XBC by the definition of an angle bisector. If you're also told that the measure of angle ABC is equal to 60, you may realize that the measure of angle ABX is equal to the measure of angle XBC. Well, that's also going to be half of 60, which is 30. And this idea is generalized in what we call the angle bisector theorem, which is very similar to the midpoint theorem, except now we're discussing angles and not segments. So the angle bisector theorem states, that if ray BX is the bisector of angle ABC, then we can conclude that the measure of angle ABX is equal to half the measure of angle ABC, and the measure of angle XBC is equal to half the measure of angle ABC. Again, because we are given that BX is the bisector of our greater angle, meaning that we have two smaller measures that are going to be equal because of that angle bisector. It's again, very, very similar to the very, very similar to the midpoint theorem, where this ray is acting as a quote unquote angle midpoint if that helps you with it. And now in this example, we are given a, a diagram, and we're also given that ray FD bisects angle CFE. We want to name the definition, postulate, or theorem that justifies each statement. So we have three statements. The measure of angle CFD is equal to half the measure of angle CFE. 
Second statement for B is the measure of angle CFD is equal to the measure of angle DFE. And we have segment CD, or the length of segment CD, pardon me, plus the length of segment DE is equal to the length of segment CE. So when we are talking about A, the measure of angle CFD is equal to half the measure of angle CFE. That is what we just discussed. That's going to be the angle bisector theorem. When we're talking about the measure of angle CFD is equal to the measure of angle DFE, well, if we look on our diagram, that's going to help us use definition of an angle bisector. And lastly, we have the length of segment CD plus the length of segment DE is equal to the length of segment CE, which is going to be, again, the segment addition postulate. All right, kiddos, great job today. Please work on problems 5 through 12 on the guide and notes. Keep making yourself proud. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you soon.